Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can bring your data into the one lake using the lake house. So in fabric, uh, we have so many fabric items, right? Uh, if you have want watched my previous video uh, in the fabric playlist, consider watching them and then come to this video so that right you will try to understand what is happening and you will grasp the more okay so this video mostly we will be focusing on how we can bring your data into the one lake using the lake house so this we indirectly did it in our previous classes as well if you have continued the last classes you know that our last videos so but still let's try to do a dedicated video on it uh, like how we can load the data into the one lake using the lake house so we are going to create a one lake house item which is nothing but like we can call it like a fabric item as well right so we are going to create that fabric item and using that we can load the data into the one lake and what is one lake i said it in the previous classes so fabric will be generally for your entire organization okay and for the throughout the fabric you will be having a big storage that is called lake storage this actually builds on top of the data lake storage gen 2 okay and whenever you create workspaces here every workspace will have a folder here and you can browse these workspaces using the one lake file explorer uh, which you can install on top of your windows system so we discussed all these things in our uh, last videos so it's continuation to that so let's try to create a lake house inside one workspace and then let's try to see how we can upload the data there and then we can see the properties there and there are various ways to get the data into the one lake we will be doing via browser but in our future cases we will discuss more about get data option which is available but we will touch that option also at a high level this video so let's go to our fabric so i have navigated to the app.fabric.microsoft.com url and you know that using this url you can open the fabric okay and now uh, click this microsoft fabric icon whatever you are seeing it here this will open various experiences available inside the microsoft fabric so let me select that and then you can see here we have various uh, experiences like data engineering is one experience data science data warehouse real-time analytics so there are various experiences click this data engineering experience uh, and then once you click that now you actually right now you are actually under the data engineering experience here you can see that and then you can see there is something called workspaces icon here uh, and we we did all this in the last classes as well our last videos as well so click the workspaces and open any workspace so in real time you may see so many workspaces here you can search for your workspace so i am searching for my sample workspace and then click that workspace once you click that now you are entering into the workspace and you whenever you open any workspace you can observe that your workspace name will come here and also you can observe that inside this left side vertical menu you will see your workspace tab is available for you dedicatedly okay and now right now in my workspace i have one item which is called lake host type i have already created it but let's try to create a new fresh lake host item and then let's try to upload the data there so to create a new dedicated lake host item or any any fabric item for that matter you need to click that new button so let me click that new button and then from here you can see various options you can click the more options as well to see the full list uh, but for me i wanted to uh, create a lake house you can see that lake house option is available there so let me try to click that lake house option and then here let's try to give a name maybe like a demo lake house so that's the name that's the name of the lake house which i wanted to give so when i select create button it will create one lake house item for us okay and via this lake house item you can uh, bring your data into the one lake via this workspace okay so right now if you have observed the screen now we entered inside the now we entered inside the uh, the lake house whatever we created it okay and you see the whatever the lake was also you opened or whatever the fabric item even that will appear as a tab here you can see that right so now inside the lake host once you open there are so many options for example you can see this files option 
using this files option only you will actually bring your data there okay so you will bring your data using that files option only so how you do that so you you can go to the files option and when you click this icon the three dots here you see here uh, you can see that you can create a subfolder or you can upload it also so you can upload a file or you can upload a folder so for example i wanted to create a subfolder maybe like a data okay then let me hit this create button to create this data folder now i wanted to go inside the data folder and you observe this here i am right now inside the data folder and here i can click this three dots once again and i can click the upload once again okay so creating a tables and so those concepts we will discuss in our future classes so we, we can click the upload button i can hit this upload files and i and i can upload actually the data that means i am bringing the data into the fabric and when i am bringing the data into the fabric that means i am bringing the data onto the one leg which is there behind the scenes of the fabric so let me uh, here uh, i can i can okay so i clicked this button this is asking me to browse from file so i am just uploading this adf logo or something okay so let me upload this file so let me hit this upload button so once the upload happens i should see my data there you can see here i should see my data so like that you can upload any kind of data i can upload some csv file as well if i want so i can click this browse button here the left side the, the top right side okay and maybe i have something called sample files let's go here i have some demo.csv file let me even upload that file as well see i am bringing the data that means into the one like using the lake house what is lake house if you want to know uh, go to my synapse playlist uh, there uh, there are dedicated uh, last few videos i covered it but in this fabric also i will cover in future in detail but uh, if you want to know more right now then you can watch it there from the synapse playlist so let me close this so so like this we can upload the files so not only that via this fabric experience right via this lake house experience uh, you can right click on any folder you can go to the properties and uh, this you can see various properties of the files basically what is the file type what is the url even this abfss path so this path will actually helpful like whenever you want to work with the files using the spark in the notebooks you wanted to refer some file and uh, do something on top of it then this path generally we will refer it okay we will discuss that in future as well or in my synapse playlist or pyspark playlist it is there okay so that is one way and another way is not only this way of manually doing it you, you have something called here get data option if you can see here so this get data option will give you various different ways to load the data or to bring the data into the fabric okay so one way is like this is like a creating a pipeline so when you create a pipeline uh, you know that right these pipelines are equals to the data factory pipelines so there are there is something called copy activity and all right using that you can bring the data there okay so via this multiple options as well you can bring the data into the one lake using the lake house uh, but uh, creating a actual pipeline and uh, bringing the data using a copy activity we will discuss in upcoming classes but here i'm just roughly showing it so when i click the create button it will actually create a pipe create a pipeline item and in that pipeline item i should have a copy activity or various other activities that will complete the etl flow and bring the data into the lake house okay so that is also one way right now you can see here i am inside the pipeline and that pipeline item is loading it here but i don't want to do anything right now so simply i will close this wizard okay let me yes cancel so now if i go back to uh, sorry if i go back to my workspace here and you should see see even that pipeline item whatever i added it came and the lake house whatever we added even that is there this lake house is which was already there uh, which we created in our previous uh, videos uh, but uh, this is the one and this is the one these two we just now created it okay so in short you can bring the data onto the fabric or onto the uh, one lake using the lake house item okay so we can discuss about how to bring the data using a different fabric items as well in our future so this video is still here so i hope you got an ideal idea how to bring the data onto the lake house using the uh, onto the fabric using the lake house okay so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much